years have passed since we had our socks forcibly removed by the bonkers ninja H2 Kawasaki's game-changing supercharged liter beater. But while it was sent to war us, the long game was always about the introduction of production supercharged engines. And this is the first more mass-market destined model to emerge from the project. Still boasting the Ninja H2 moniker. The key letters here are actually SX denoting its touring intent. While it would be logical to assume that Kawasaki have simply bolted a rear subframe to their nuts ninja, the changes are actually far more extensive. The chassis is new, the engine is new, and the riding experience will be, too. The substantially reworked engine also boasts a new flavor of supercharger to smooth out the power delivery, and soften the H2's dramatic punch. It's also there to allow the 998cc inline 4 to muster 207 bhp peak power and 101.3 lbft, while achieving much improved emissions and the same sort of fuel economy you'd expect from the less well-endowed versus 1000. Not only is it frugal, but it allows the SX to run a relatively small 19-liter fuel tank, while still going the distance. Electronic intervention The H2 SX SE gets cornering lights, and the top spec dash, which combines an analog tattoo with a multifunction 2D color dash, the stalker gets LCD. There are two selectable display modes, Touring or Sport, to allow riders to prioritize what they see on screen. There's also electronic cruise control and KCMF, Kawasaki cornering management.